Hi everybody, Mike and Jeannie here again from Thrift with MJ Beans. And we made a trip this weekend and I'll let Jeannie explain that to you. We actually went to Flea Across Florida, which it goes from Pensacola all the way over to Jacksonville. We just did a, a very small portion of that. And we will have actually two different videos on this. We'll do the, the hard goods first and then the, the next video will be other clothing because it's just too much to do in one video. Okay guys, stick around till the very end because you get to see my videotaping skills. It's awesome. It's awesome. Mike's going to actually start this one off. What did we find? All right, we're going to start off with this. That's Mary. Little Mary. I think people know. <laughs> okay. This is a Holland mold. It's been made. And we, we found this along with this Hagger. They're, they're similar. This one is a lot better made. It's a Hagger. You can tell the difference in the way. It's actually a little vase. This one's just a regular statue. Yep. They're a little over about 12 inches tall. And the quality in the Hagger is 100% more than the one made from the Holland mold. Yeah, we would have probably just wanted this one, but they sold them both together, so we bought them both. And once we got it home, we actually didn't see it. There is actually a crack on this one, so we won't list this one, but we will have this one on. Luckily, the crack was down on the one that is uh, the less expensive one, so we should get a little bit more out of the one. Next, we have a couple of bowl cups. That's what I call them. The little birds on them. Decoration, there's a pair of these. See they're hand painted. Are they clay? We'll see. They are. Yes, they're clay. They're clay, and I'm oh. not sure to get my fingers <laughs> in those. I don't know where, where they come from or made. They have a really weird, I don't think you can see it, faded out sticker or, or on the bottom. But yeah. you can definitely tell that it's that it's hand painted, and as far as the mark on the bottom, it's really kind of smeared. But I thought they were really, really cute. Good for soup or cereal or big coffee. That's a lot of coffee. Lot of coffee. <laughs> Speaking of breakfast and coffee, I found a nice little Tony the Tiger breakfast set. You got your bowl for oatmeal cereal and your cup for hot chocolate or coffee. These are uh, 2002 from Kellogg's. We found another set, but when we got it back, it was two cans salmon. The bowl was cracked, so this one looks brand new. It's no cracks, no stains. Everything looks great on these. And I forget where we picked them up at, but it even has a little... I think it was the first place we actually went to. This was actually a flea market, flea market. Uh, the... Uh, there was actually people with flea market stores that were open, thrift stores, but the best ones we found was people that actually had their own garage sales alongside of the road. Yeah, there's a little bit more profit to be made. And they and were, they you were, didn't say anything about grits. What if somebody likes grits? Oh yeah, cheese grits are the best. Fill that up. A little bacon on top, can't go wrong. She found these little salt shakers from Japan. The corks are out of them. They actually had the salt and pepper caked into it. They're cleaned out now. These are uh, little windmills on them. They're about, oh, about three inches tall. I got some uh, coloring to them that was put into the glass. I think they're just real cute. They're almost this, a luster wear, but with cool. age and everything, it's kind of faded. They're, they're just nice little salt and pepper shakers. She found those and uh, I forget where, but I think that was a thrift shop too. Is that an antique, antique mall? There was, yeah, there's, there's antique, there's all kinds of stuff. She found a little Santa mouse. And that's and, a, that's a um, home interior, I think, at in, in, Insco. So in it should have a little buddy to it, but he was just so cute, I couldn't just leave him at home. It actually had a number printed on the back of it is faded out. There's, it shouldn't be on there. No. That, 
But he's cute anyways. Yeah, nobody looks at the back. You just want to look at him in front. <laughs> That's what we're saying. <laughs> All right. Now we get down to the nitty gritty. Oh, gritty. This is a... Okay, this is a pretty little vase we found. It's from Japan. Hand painted. It's older. It's got a crazy starting to get it on pretty well. Now, Vintage Nomad, if you're out there and you happen to see this or anybody, there is a K on top of the Japan. Now, we're not sure who made this actually, but we got some similarities. We tried to look it up, but we couldn't find anything just like it. So if you happen to know, you know, just give us a little message somewhere in the comments and let us know. We'd appreciate that, but this is a beautiful little vase we found. And we're going to put that online pretty soon. i got to clean that off a little bit. Oh, it's good. Okay. <laughs> Next, we have a gold wool kitten. Actually, it could be a paperweight. It's a little, oh, weighs over a pound itself. Solid glass, yellow tint crystal. I would, I would definitely call it a paperweight. It's like a figurine paperweight because of the, the weight. Or you can use it just as a figurine and set it on with your other kittens. Yeah, or you could it's put Christmas lights around it and be a Christmas cat. It's a pretty little piece of glass. Or a Halloween cat. Yeah, you can paint it black but, if you want. But Halloween cat, okay. Right, it's just a nice pretty little cat. Like I say, you can use it for paperweight or just for decoration. See. Here's something you may have never seen or it's been a long time. This was from back in this 1970, a Burger King picture. It actually holds 80 ounces to the top or to this and 88 to the very, very, very top, which would make it hard to pour. It's yeah, so just put it to the brim. Where kids are king. I remember that logo. And, and they did have glasses clean. to go with it too, but this one survived. <laughs> this one has no chips, no cracks. The paint is in excellent shape. It looks like it's just been put in storage and kept there since whoever got it. I don't think this came in a kid's meal. But, no. But you never know. <laughs> I said this would be a nice collector's piece. And it actually is on eBay. It's gonna it's gonna be on auction. And if you happen to be a Burger King executive and don't have one of these, look it up. There you go. Not executive. Which brings us to Fenton. We love we have fallen in love with Fenton. We've got books now, so trying to do research, trying to learn more and more as we, most as we can about about the Fenton. There's so much. This is chocolate, like a chocolate slag they call it, dish. Very, very pretty. Nice little trinket dish. It has like it's a little, little swirl. Swirls yeah. on the inside, you can't see it. You might be able to see the bottom better. See the swirls anyways. You can kind of, you can kind of make the swirl out there. But this is a Fenton. It's got the mark right here, which I can tell you, but I don't think you can see it. It's just a nice thick glass trinket dish. A really nice, great shape. No chips, no cracks. No. It's just another little goodie we found. And this one actually has Fenton on it. And since we've kind of been, well, we haven't kind of been, we've been doing some research on it. And you can't really go all the time by the little tags that are on at antique malls and stuff like that. People love to call things Fenton and Murano. But hopefully with time, we can figure out what these are just by looking at the pattern. All right, we have Fitz and Floyd's Variations. That is beautiful salad. Well, for what it says, probably dessert plates. Oh, you want some chocolate cake on them. Mm hmm This little lady, she's got her little ice cream ready to go. Soda. Then okay. there's a set of there's a set of four of them. Which sometimes it's hard to find all four of them. But we they were all together at a good price. This little lady, she got her drink and her little desserts with her. 
And this dealer that had these, they were very good about, you could haggle with them. Then they were just real funny. I mean, he he would say, okay, I'll give you that for that much. And he was, he was real nice. Little lady, she got a nice little hamburger, it looks like. And she knows how to keep it nice and neat. She got her napkin with her. Well, she's got her coat on. Yeah, she, oh yeah, I don't want to get no ketchup on that. Mm -mm. Oh, we got hot dog and a milkshake with a cherry on top. She looks like she's enjoying herself. Like getting ready to go to the beach or go to the dance. She's having a good old time. And polka dots. And that's just some of the things that we found at the, uh, the flea across Florida. You really don't know what you're looking for until you get there. That's a treasure hunt. That's what we always like about it is it's a treasure hunt. You never know what you're going to find. Like you find it. <laughs> the reason that we don't actually have any video of the antique uh, places and thrift stores is not because I didn't videotape. It's because my skills still aren't there. I did leave you some to watch, but go ahead. If you have any um, motion sickness or anything like that, you're not going to be able to watch it. Okay, now that you made it to the very end, go ahead and comment what did you like the best or where do you find your treasures at um sorry about the light this keeps going in and out but go ahead and comment like share subscribe thanks for watching thank you peace bye yeah this is beautiful and actually they want hmm. $20 for a nice and open price for that. <laughs> One of the first things I saw when I worked, walked in here was this, we got a Royal Hager. And that beautiful with the lines and stuff like that. And then we have this U.S. pottery red ring. It actually says. I thought that was pretty cool. And then some of this other stuff is what she's made. <laughs>